Hi, Clara. It's Adam. How are you going? Good. How are you? Yeah, really good. Thanks. Really good. Uh, I know you're probably busy, so we'll talk about uh, regionals. Tell, tell me, tell me about your regionals experience this year. Regionals was good this year. Uh, every year, one thing that I notice really changes is how I'm able to cope with it. And um, you know, this year was probably the easiest that I was able to cope with it. I kind of was the most relaxed and had the most fun and that kind of just keeps in increasing every year. So Obviously you're coming back from sig significant injury last year at the Games. Tell me about yep. your state of mind going into regionals this year. Um, I think I'm, there's this little part of me that's like, just don't be injured, you know, as athletes we kind of push it, we push everything to the limits, um, you know, more so than your average crossfitter. We kind of go to that to that failure and that max every single time and um, that leaves us a little bit vulnerable sometimes. I think most people at the top of the game develop that philosophical approach and you realise after a while it's a risk versus reward sort of balance yeah. as well, isn't it? Oh yeah, and that's just the being being an athlete in general, like there's yeah, and, and like anything could happen and it just can be bad timing. Like I could go uninjured but then, you know, the day before the games get gastro or something and then you're a crook you know and that could just be terrible timing and what are you going to do about it like yeah. it's just it's just life and you always want to win and I think everybody wants to win who doesn't want to win when they go into a competition it's just whether you're actually willing to admit it to yourself and willing to accept that there may be some disappointment um willing to work hard in the lead up you know you're not going to win just because you want to win you know you need to actually act on that you know something that Brian told me a long time ago because I think I, I wanted to win, but I didn't want to admit it. And um, it, the reason I didn't want to admit it was because I didn't want to potentially deal with the disappointment. And he said to me, you know, it's okay to be disappointed. Um, it just means that you care. You know, don't don't let it be everything. But, you know, if, you, if you've tried at something, you didn't quite get there, then it's okay to be a little bit disappointed. Don't try and hide from that so much. And that kind of really, I don't know, kind of opened up my world and went, hey, yeah, actually, that does make sense. It is okay to be disappointed because I wanted something. If it doesn't happen at the end of my CrossFit career, if I end and it hasn't happened, then I'll be a little disappointed, but not as much as I would be if I hadn't have admitted it and I hadn't have really kind of committed properly. Tell me about those times when you felt like giving up and uh, how you overcame that. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, gosh, it's still... There's, there's um, so many times I can remember just like in the middle of a workout where, you know, you get that one workout that just puts you on your ass, on your ass and you just think... I haven't gotten any better. I think I'm the way I was when I first started. It's something crazy and you have that moment, you're like, you know what, I don't think I want to do this. It hurts too much and it makes me tired and I'm grumpy and I'm not getting anywhere. I think I might just go to yoga or something. You know, you have so many of those moments, like, you know, and I still have them now. Um, but, you know, you kind of, it's just a matter of really, um, I guess, assessing your goals and just going, what do I actually want out of this? And as soon as you've assessed it and gone, okay, what do I want? then you can, you can go with it from there. So I kind of said to myself, look, I want to win. Um, I want to go in and I want to be a competitor, so I'll take whatever comes with that. You know, and I decided that. No one's forced me to do it. Um, so when those moments kind of come up, I just have to remind myself of that. You know, when you you know when you know just sort of don't want to keep going on anymore. We are human, but I also made a choice, so I'll see it through to the end. Oh,